looks like a thing. So yeah, these look as area. Second, second. And gun bullets. Ah, just where we needed. I need a lot of them now that I've started blasting cockroaches. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking left, right and centre. There we go. <laughs> oh, it's you. Yeah, I'm James. Angela. Angela, okay. I don't know what you're planning, but there's always another way. Really? But you're the same as me. It's easier just to run. Besides, is what we deserve. No, I'm not like you. You were afraid. I... I'm sorry. It's okay. Did you find your mother? Not yet. She's not anywhere. Did she live in this apartment building? I don't know. So... All you know is she lived in this town. What did you say? How do you know that? Well, I just figured, because this is where you're looking for her. How else would I know? Yeah. Am I right? I'm so tired. So, why did you come to this town anyway? I... I'm sorry. Did... did you find the person you're looking for? Not yet. Her name's Mary. She's my wife. I... I'm sorry. It's okay. Anyway, she's dead. I don't know why I think she's here. She's dead? Don't worry. I'm not crazy. <laughs> At least, I don't think so. Uh, I'd better find my mama. Should I go with you? This town's dangerous. Now I know what you meant back there in the cemetery. I'll be okay by myself. Besides, I'd just slow you down. What about that? Will you hold it for me? Sure. No problem. If I kept it, I'm not sure what I might do. Yeah, so, uh, you can't, if you go on to your right, sorry, I don't think you can use the knife as an actual weapon. Yeah. Uh, it's just like, I think that's one of the, uh, one of the things. The blood is stained with something red. You get like an ending for, if you look at that a lot, then you get like a different ending, basically. Uh, so that was Angela. <laughs> She's pretty messed up, but as you can probably guess, like she was just playing with a knife before looking in the mirror. And then she's still like looking for her mama. And then when James went to like not chase her but kinda of, like go after her, 
um, she got very like scared and like frightened of James. Defensive. Yeah. yeah. Um, so obviously there's something there with like James, all her like views on men and like her, because you mentioned like her father and her brother in the cemetery. So there's obviously something going on there as well. And you got a point. It's, uh, they're both there uh, looking after, looking for someone who's dead. Yeah. Which James, like, that's um, the first time, I think, I don't think he told Eddie that he's looking for his dead wife. No. But that's the first time he mentions it to someone and, like, actually says it out loud to another person. That she, yeah, that she's dead. Yeah. Um, one of the other things about that scene as well is that the the dialogue seems to, it, it's so rocky in the first one. Like, it, it doesn't feel like two people talking together. No. It, it feels like two people reading scripts. Yeah. But that it flows a lot better in that, and it feels like they're actually having a conversation or a connection. Yeah. Um, but they're like, so the. Uh, do you know about the voice recordings for the for Oblivion? Uh, no. Uh, so when they did the the voice actors got their lines that came in to record for Oblivion. Yeah. They were given their lines in alphabetical order. What? Not the order that they had to um <laughs> do it. Like read them in. Yeah. What a... So that that's why it's like stop right there and then like you need to pay a fine. Yeah. Like, the, it just changes like tone dramatically. <laughs> that's so weird. And it, it's it's because they literally got given like here's all the A lines, here's all the B lines, yeah. <laughs> here's all the C lines. And it that's why the dialogue in also that does I can't tell whether that's a texture glitch. That's what yeah, I was thinking as well. I was like, is that meant to look like that? Yeah, no, it's not. <laughs> uh, I think... I'll be honest. To save time, I think you only need three, key, uh, three coins on this. But okay, still... So I need one more. Yeah, but still explore like all the rooms. Just in case. Because I think it's a hard mode, you need five. To get all, but you can do the riddle with just three. Because I think like the other two you get are just like pure fucking just weird. Yeah. Uh, back to the stairs and the down. Oh, there's a save thing in there that I haven't used. Is it? Oh yeah. One or five. I think you need to go into the first apartment now, actually, because you can't get to the third floor, could you? Because I was blocked off. Uh, no, I got down to it, I think. Did you? Yeah, because that was the bit that led to the courtyard. Oh, yeah. No, sorry, I mean in this apartment, because this is a different uh, apartment block. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, no, I th yeah, I thought you meant in the... um. In the old apartment, I thought that thought you meant in the old apartment, but I couldn't tell if that was a cuss, you know what? <laughs> so, am I, I'm on the ground. Oh, am I on the ground floor now? Yeah, yeah, so that's uh, everything. Yeah. Yeah, so the only way I can do it is to go up and to the other stairs, right? Yeah, try it. Don't forget your juice as well. Still your cancer juice. It's a six pack, mate. Get started. <laughs> So much fucking juice. <laughs> that J2O, bro. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right, okay, now I'm baffled. So... Oh, wait. am I a genius? 
today. Oh wait, shit, that's not this building. That green health. What are you thinking? I was gonna drop the thing down the garbage chute to get... Oh wait, I can go back, okay. Wait, did I go the wrong way? No. There's a safe. <clears throat> I think in hard mode, I think there's a coin in this safe. Yeah, that would make sense instead of just a random 30 bullets. Yeah. <laughs> like we spent fucking 10 minutes trying to get. <laughs> I went to one of those, you know, those escape rooms. Yeah. I went in there in like one of the old stores I used to work in. And uh, one of the girls took such a long time to open a briefcase, it was actually embarrassing. Like, we, we had the right <laughs> code for it, but she just couldn't get the, like, switches to, like, unlock. Yeah. And, like, the girl had to come in and, like, show how to do it, and I was like, oh my god. <laughs> We're never getting out of this room. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm a genius. Well, waste of juice. I know, right? <laughs> oh, it's at the bottom, so you can still... You can still use it, yeah. I, I've always wanted to do an escape room, but I've never had anyone to go it's, with. You need the right people, otherwise you just get like really annoyed really fast. <laughs> you know, there's a bunch of us going to LAN in April, so I might... Uh, suggest it. <laughs> might, might suggest an escape room on a Thursday during the day or something. I can't. I, I just can't imagine that. <laughs> uh, it would be fucking jokes doing that with like Scott and Cairo and... Scott and Kyra, I think, would kill each other. Yeah, they would. Right, so I've got three coins now, don't I? Yeah. Oh. The police announced today that Walter Sullivan, who was arrested on the 18th of this month for the brutal murder of Billy Locaine and his sister Miriam, committed suicide in his jail cell early on the morning of the 22nd. That's the dude from... Downpour? No. Right? He, or is it Homecoming? No. The one that he kills in the prison at the start? No. According to the police statement, Sullivan used a soup spoon to stab himself in the neck. So, oh yeah, okay, well that. So, severing his carot, 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 carotid artery. <laughs> By the time the guard discovered him, Sullivan was dead from blood loss. The spoon buried two inches in his neck. An old schoolmate of Walt Sullivan's from his hometown of Pleasant River said he didn't look like the type of guy who would kill kids. But I do remember that just before they arrested him, he was blurting out all sorts of strange stuff like, he's trying to kill me, he's trying to punish me. The monster, the red devil, please forgive me, I did it, but it wasn't me. The schoolman then added, I guess now that I think of it, he was kind of crazy. So that's another, another thing that is linked with Sunhill 4. So the, I guess the bad guy of Sunhill 4 is Walter Sullivan. Um, okay. So that... And then the hole in the wall thing, a lot of people think there's connections there. But when you read that, there's a bit where they talk about the Red Devil. Which I would assume would be... It's Pyramid Head. Is insinuated to be, yeah. Um, so there's, I would say that's more an article about Pyramid Head and less about Water Sullivan. But I think if Konami wanted Sun Hill, the room, to be the fourth installment, they just like try to shoehorn as many references as they could and like link it that way. Yeah. They're like, it's oh. much more likely that they just went, okay, we need to link it to Silent Hill. What's a character name yeah. that we've used that we didn't do anything else with? Oh, Walter Sullivan's free. We'll, we'll just, just apply his name to Exactly, yeah. 
what the fuck was that? It's like creepy. Yeah, creepy, creepy sounds in this game are everywhere. I went to the wrong floor. So what have we got? You got the, the old man, the snake, and the woman? Snake, and the, yeah. I can't wait for this puzzle, it's gonna be so much fun. <laughs> <laughs> this, uh, how long are we going for? Two hours? Uh, yeah, just over now. Uh, well, we're at an hour and 44 right now. So. <laughs> if we're gonna stop at two. Well, this we've one. Got 15 minutes. I honestly thought the clock puzzle you'd take longer on. And then. Figured it out, I'm a genius. The safe one. I'm a literary. You are. I think it, uh, the issue of the safe one it was just like the direction of where you're doing it, more than anything else. That w yeah, it was literally just the control that baffled me. Yeah. But I also did read the time wrong the first time we read it. That yeah. And, <laughs> and say hand bun. So. <laughs> Uh, was it on this floor? Uh, I can't remember. I think it should indicate it's one floor up, is it? I think, or is it down? down yeah. yeah, it's down. Oh, it doesn't show you a puzzle. It doesn't say that. I think it's in 109. Yeah. It was this way, wasn't it? Yeah. 104. What? <laughs> okay, that was weird. Uh, that's the other way then. Yeah. I'm just gonna let that frozen I mean. AI. <laughs> no, I, I think if you go near them, then they become alive. Like if they hear you. I guess that makes sense with those ones being a mannequin. Yeah. They don't have, like, eyes or anything. Yeah, there's the bugged out door. Uh, was it through here? Uh, that was a custom adventure that wasn't the same route. No. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it wasn't. Oh, now we get to find which room it was. Oh, god damn it. Oh yeah, because we got the coin from her. Yeah. Was it on the so which of the rooms can I get onto on this floor? 105? Try that. It must be 105. I'm pretty sure it was on this floor. Yeah, there it is. Right, so what's the riddle? There's something written on the desk. Three bright coins, they get. At one end sits a seducer, seducer of she, right? So that's, that should be the woman. That's a snake. Oh. Because uh, the snake seduced Eve. Eve, alright, okay, yeah. And then the wind from behind, the woman doth pray. So it, that needs to be on. Yeah, okay. The old one beside the servant. So you got a snake. I think it should. Oh, does it? <laughs> you need to you need to have it like So you got a snake, an old man, and the woman. So snake is it this dude? No, it's prisoner. Oh, oh, maybe it's woman. Okay, it looks like woman. 
Uh, prisoner, old man, snake. Shit, I was looking at the woman. Uh... Alright. <laughs> Is that riddle in memo? Because... Going through that every time is going to be there. You go, thank God. Yeah, there we go. At one end sits the seducer, so the snake has to be left or right. The wind from behind the woman. The formless one, no. So, what else have we got? Prisoner woman. Old man. I think Prisoner old man snake. The old one beside the serpent sits not. Tis the left of the prisoner. So, the serpent needs to be on the ends. On the. Yeah. Oh, fuck. No, he needs, he needs to go and show items and select it. <laughs> oh, yeah, fuck it. So. <laughs> right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it. I'm gonna give it a go. We'll see whether I could do it. How many attempts are you going for? First time? I'm gonna yeah, I'm gonna get it in one, obviously. <laughs> you stay in silence, which doesn't show me with <laughs> A lot of confidence. Oh. Uh. Don't think that worked. Hmm. <laughs> I think I might have these two the wrong way around. Wait, shit, which one? Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, no, I think that was right. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe reread the puzzle or the memo if uh, this one doesn't work. Nah, this this is gonna be it. Fuck. You get it? Right. No. no? Oh, I thought I had a click. <laughs> <laughs> Three bright coins. At one end sits the seducer. So the snake has to be on the end. Mm -hmm. So. The woman's not in it. Uh, the formless one null lies furthest from the. So the old one beside the serpent sits not. So the old one doesn't go near so the. So the old one doesn't go near the snake. So the old man is to the left of the prisoner. Okay. So I, st I think the snake goes on the. The snake has to go on the far right. I'm sure of that. Okay. Imagine doing this for all coins, mate. Like, you just got free. <laughs> <laughs> See, I'm sure that's. Unless it has to go all the way there. Oh, for fuck's sake. None.
Oh no. Unless the window meter button. <laughs> uh Yes. 